Hello Cancer and welcome to the Lynx Tarot. My name is Monica and this reading is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you so much for being here Cancer. We're going to start with the Wisdom of the Tao Oracle cards. Then I will go into some tarot and some more Oracle. This is for the next seven days. Okay, give or take. And um, keep in mind, this is a timeless reading, okay? So it's intended for whenever you are watching. Your first card is the way. Very nice, the way. You're in the right place at the right time. I just wanted to read that real quick, but there's more to it, and I will read more into these oracle cards a little bit later after the tarot part, okay? You are in the right place at the right time, Cancer. I feel like some of you just like really needed to hear that right off the bat. I like that. All right, what else does Cancer need to know from the Wisdom of Tao? All right, Cancer, here we go, truth. All right, and it says, you already know the truth. The root cause of these obstacles has finally crystallized in your mind. Be inspired about this new outlook in life. You have everything you need to succeed. Action and discipline are required. Stop procrastinating. Cancer, I don't know why I'm wanting to read these out for you right away. Normally I wait, so I'm gonna read this one full through, okay? The way. You are in the right place at the right time. Stay grounded and avoid extremes because it could change. Abandon false praise and people will be truthful. Shun formality and people will be sincere. Forsake cleverness and people will be kind to each other. Okay, Cancer? Something, you know, drew me to read these out loud right now rather than later. And I will go back to them again, okay? All right. So here I have the Halloween deck I just purchased on Etsy. I haven't seen it anywhere else. And this deck actually came all the way from Lithuania, which I thought was super cool. And I will um, post down below this deck and then all of my other decks are affiliate links okay this one is not but all of the others are so i will list them all down below okay if you're interested all right what does cancer need to know this is for the next seven days for cancer sun moon rising and venus okay so your first card out is judgment okay this is the most important situation for this week for you cancer we've got judgment and your challenge is we have the Empress. Neat, I haven't seen this card yet. Um, when I first got the deck, of course, I looked at each card and cleared them and whatnot and put my energy into them, but this has not come out yet. So the Empress card from the Halloween deck is really beautiful. Okay, advice, we have the Queen of Swords for Cancer and outcome. We have the Ace of Wands, all right. I'm going to clarify these with the Everyday Witch Tarot. Let me just put these aside and we will clarify with the Everyday Witch Tarot. We are clarifying Judgment, the Empress, the Queen of Swords, and the Ace of Wands. Whoops. All right, so Judgment is being clarified by Justice, okay? So a judgment being made having to do with karmic justice, okay? Clarifying the empress, we have the devil. Wow, so we've got four major arcana out of six cards already. So there's some very strong energy this week for you, Cancer. All right, we're gonna clarify the queen of swords and the ace of wands. Whoops. There we go, they're popping out all over. So clarifying the Queen of Swords, we have the Five of Cups. And we're gonna clarify the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands. Clarifying the Ace of Wands for Cancer. And we have Strength, another major arcana, clarifying the Ace of Wands. Okay, awesome. All right, Cancer, this is gonna be interesting. So Judgment and Justice. So what I'm getting already for some of for some of you, okay, is that something that happened in the past that um, some where somebody did you wrong, 
um, something that you couldn't control. You did everything that you could to try and make things right, but something that was something was going on that you couldn't control, and justice will be served. Okay, do not allow these past experiences to creep back up on you. Okay, because they have already happened. So don't live in that energy. Allow God to come in. Allow karma to come in and handle the situation. As long as you know that you have already done everything that you can. As long as you know you have done your part. Um, also, there could be a Libra in your chart or in your life cancer, but that does not have to be the case. So let's go back here to the judgment card. Okay, so um, in this deck, they put little words on here. It says, for ways that are dark and tricks that are vain, <laughs> look out. Okay, so um, I was kind of getting with the two cards together that if somebody has done you wrong, okay, um, if there was, um, I'm getting something with red tape or bureaucracy where you have been treated unfairly and maybe you had to get a lawyer or speak up, um, appeal something or something like that, um, any of these situations, okay, um, justice will be served, okay, it's just important to do your part and then know that everything will balance out, okay, because other people have their free will as well, so there are different players in the situation, different energies, but justice will be served, okay, and um, this is like a huge life lesson, but you're done. You're done with it. Okay. Justice will be served. And, uh, yeah, what was I seeing? I saw another card. See, the queen of swords kind of makes me feel like that, that energy is confirmed. Okay. The queen of swords cuts through the BS to clarity. Okay. So what's done is done. You've done what you can. You might just have to wait for some results. Okay. Your challenge is we've got the empress being clarified by the devil. Okay. So, um, with the devil energy and the empress energy, they're well, with the Empress, um, there sh there could be a, a Libra in your life again, Libra energy, but not necessarily. Um, and the Devil energy coming in, there could be a, uh, a Capricorn. I'm sorry, a Capricorn in your chart or in your life, but that doesn't have to be the case. That's for some of you, not all of you. Okay, so for your challenges, you want to go with the energy of the Empress, um, feeling abundant and happy and free. You want to be free of like the judgment justice stuff that I was just talking about, and that's where you're headed. The devil energy could be coming back in to tempt you to worry that things aren't going to change, but they are. They are changing, uh, and that's the way it is. That's the way it will be, and they are changing. But the devil energy is kind of coming in to tempt you. Like, are you sure you've learned your lesson? Are you sure? Sure that um here we go. Are you sure you've learned your lesson? It's a temptation. Are you sure you don't want to go through this cycle all over again? The judgment card wants to take you out of that, okay? Take you out of what you've already learned. And the devil energy is coming in, kind of tempting you like, you know, people are creatures of habit. Sometimes we stick with what we already know because of fear of the unknown. So don't let that grab you, okay? This is meant to end. The cycle is meant to end and you are meant to rise above it, okay? So don't be tempted to go back to old habits or fears that what you have just overcome is going to come back again. Okay, Cancer, your advice column, we have the Queen of Swords. Okay, that's the Sword of Truth. Seek the truth. And the Five of Cups, it's saying it is time to stop grieving this loss because look how clear the sky is. And like when I look at these cards, it's almost like that ocean breeze. Like I can feel it. It's cleansing. So like stand up, dust yourself off, turn around, look at those two cups sitting there. Okay. One is for you and one is for someone else. Okay. To share with somebody else, somebody better coming into your life and or or for some of you, it's a toast to yourself, okay? You need to take a moment and realize, wow, I just overcame something really, really, really huge. It's kind of scarred me a little bit, but I don't have to live that way anymore and toast to yourself, okay? Cancer, toast to yourself. And if you have someone to celebrate with, do that, okay? Talk to that person about what has happened and it will help transmute this energy and also write things out, okay? Write what you have been through and how you feel, how you felt, and then also write things in the positive, okay? Like, I am free, I am happy, I am abundant, okay? Put things in the positive so that you can shake that energy of what you've been through. Okay, for your outcome, outcome card, we have strength, okay? See the strength coming in for you. 
So I think this strongly represents you right now, Cancer. You have the strength, and I think many of you have gotten caught up in emotions, and you don't realize that you have been very, very strong. See how the tornado is behind the witch on this card, okay? So that tumultuous energy is behind you, and you're able to claim, uh, tame the beast, okay? See how the witch is taming this lion? She's just letting him lick her hand like a big old kitty cat, okay? He can't harm her because you've tamed yourself inside, okay? You've gotten through this. You can get through this and let your emotions calm down. Let that be your will, okay? And with the Ace of Wands, something new wants to come in for you. A new, fresh beginning, something creative and doing something creative is going to help you out of this okay it could be in your work not necessarily it could be going for a hike um, it could be um, if it's fall season where you are living where i currently am as well if it's fall season maybe just go out shopping and get some pumpkins or some wreaths or something um some flowers you can like i don't know glue together make a little project to transmute this energy okay take your nervous energy and make something creative and beautiful, okay? Um, like I said, be in nature, go for a hike if that works for you. Definitely do writing, but don't just be inside, okay, Cancer? It's important to not just be inside. All right, we're gonna go over to the Angel of Wisdom Tarot. Wow, I got a little flipper right there. I'm gonna grab it. You got the Emperor, very nice. Logic and organization will increase your success. Take charge of the situation, accept a leadership role structure and discipline okay so this was coming in really strong with the queen of swords too and the ace of wands i'm sorry yeah the ace of wands um i was feeling that with both of those cards for you so logic and organization will increase your success take charge of the situation accept a leadership role and success i'm sorry structure and discipline so accepting a leadership role cancer i think this is being your own leader right now finding your own strength and then once you do it might be time for you to mentor someone else or lead a group of people in a situation okay it could be at work not necessarily but um you have it in you now that the slate is clean and now that this this drama is in the past it's time for you to be a leader and you can do that and i can see you being really supportive of other people and encouraging them, cheering them on, okay? Kind of like a personal trainer or something like that. A situation where you're in a position where um, you're kind of a jack of all trades helping somebody. Like if you're a personal trainer or um, like a chiropractor or something like that, you become more than just that to people, okay? You kind of become their coach, their life coach, their confidant, you know what I mean? Um, a hairstylist often takes on all of those roles. And you're meant you're meant to be that people look up to you okay wow you got the eight of wands lots of messages coming in for you cancer it also says too much going on stress caused by many positive opportunities unexpected events or rapid changes the ability to multitask and business travel okay so there could be some business travel here for you cancer a lot going on, a lot of messages for you that are coming in. So tune into your intuition so that you can access those. And look at the fireworks. Okay, there's like celebration and fun. Okay, so it's time to celebrate um, a, a winning. I think some of you um, listening right now are winning. You have just won something or you're about to win something. And you're not really feeling the victory right yet. So make sure you celebrate, okay? Make sure. Okay, so I'm going to go back to these again, the Wisdom of Tao. You are in the right place at the right time. Stay grounded. Avoid extremes because it could change. Abandon false praise and people will be, will be truthful. Shun formality and people will be sincere. Forsake cleverness and people will be kind to each other. Okay, so that's where giving it to God comes in, okay? And truth, we're going to go over this again as well. You already know the truth. The root cause of these obstacles has finally crystallized in your mind. Be inspired about this new outlook in life. You have everything you need to succeed. Action and discipline are required and stop procrastinating. Okay, Cancer. So I hope these messages were worth reading, reading again to you to help tie this all in. Okay, we're going to go over to the angel answers 
If you have a question, you can reflect on it now, Cancer, but you don't have to. Any messages that are meant to come out should resonate with you and always go with what resonates and leave what doesn't. Okay, Cancer? All right, this is the Angel Answers Oracle deck. I've got a flipper here. Opportunity, nice. This is a beautiful card. See all the gold coming down on this angel and she's got her arms open and she's welcoming it in, okay? Welcome good things, okay? Don't dwell on past experiences. Welcome new opportunities, open up. All right, Cancer, one more, whoops. One more for Cancer. Okay. And we have, you're ready, Cancer, you are ready. You are ready for this, and I've been saying that all along, it's time. It's time to move on from whatever whatever drama or event just happened. Um, it's, not, it's not an empty victory, okay, Cancer? That's what I'm getting for some of you. You need to hear it's not an empty victory. Okay, it's time to, to get up and dust yourself off and move ahead. Don't be tempted to um, dwell on the past or go back to old habits. All right. We have creation. The flames of destruction will ignite a rebirth. And that's the sacral chakra. And fire agate is the gemstone. Okay, one more for Cancer to wrap up this reading. One more. All right, Cancer. We have the crown chakra. The gemstone is blue lace agate. And it says, divinity, recognize the divine in the mirror. Okay, Cancer, very nice. Thank you so much for being here, Cancer. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you again soon.